racing the couch derby two weeks ago, so raise your hand. You lost my shirt! We beat you in looks! Ha 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 ha! Now next year we gotta go for speed. If you're not participating in the Couch Derby and your church is not, you are missing out on one of the ultimate showing of competition and bloodthirsty, oh wait, that, we're Mennonites. Uh, beautiful ways for us to bless each other in competition. <laughs> All right. Um, today we're gonna move, it's gonna be zing, zing, zing. And so I need you to pay attention because I'm totally stoked to be here. And I would love to have you for like two hours, but I only got you for like 20, 25 minutes. So I'm going to start off by saying this. God rocks. There's amazing things that can happen if you actually grab a hold of them. And that's what we're going to talk about today. But we're not going to talk about it at an individual level. We're not going to talk about grabbing hold of God in your little prayer closet and your choir right before you go to bed. We want to talk about grabbing hold of God as a community. Because here's the deal. I have a theory about Christopher Dodd. I have a theory that God has a huge powder keg of amazing things that can go on out of this school. I see and hear stories of God moving in his school already, and I am anxious to see where he's going to go with this community. Not only with seniors that are leaving and going off to college, but also the students that are still here and where you can be active in your culture today. So let's talk about the culture. Could you shoot that video or play that video for me, please? This is a video of things that happen in two hours. All right, you know, 